Sinkaholic here, and today I will be showing you a little tutorial on how to make a completely hidden storage room, which is going to come in handy because I just started playing on the new Social Blade uh, server, Social Craft, and it's PvP fractions and, you know... Even though the chests are, are protected and stuff like that, this is still a good way to hide your chests so that no one can get to them and it looks clean from the outside. I mean, I know it looks kind of chaotic back here, but uh, you'll uh, you'll see what I mean a little later. Um, the whole thing is about eight blocks high, eight blocks deep. So this is really for the person that builds uh, say underground um, you know you could do this in your house but you, you gotta imagine it's gonna take eight blocks so you're gonna have one really thick room somewhere um, just to hide all the redstone and stuff but um, basically the layer that I'm standing on is gonna be what is the floor uh, not so much the uh, sandstone there but uh, put your four sticky pistons there and we're gonna put some repeaters behind them and the empty void in the middle there uh, I just put redstone right there but I do change it in just a second but in, ugh, I'm gonna try this again <laughs> in between every two pistons you want to put a repeater you can run um, you know a continuous thing of uh, redstone but eventually that current's gonna run out and you are gonna have to put a repeater down I put a repeater down every two just because when you do a really big room, really big version of this, it helps stagger it as it opens and it looks really neat because it goes from one end of the room to the next and it just, it all flows. So, all right, we're going to come back uh, five blocks um, from where we first started from and now we're going to work on the second layer because this is three layers of pistons all together. And I'm going to put two rows of stone here and we need to build up one because we need to put the pistons off in front of this and what this block here is is it's going to be the block that transfers the power to these pistons um, once they get picked up so Go ahead and place them there for right now, but eventually that's not where they're going to stay because I'm going to put some pistons above it, which will pull them up out of the way. So just run your redstone, and like I said, in between each two, you want to lay a uh, repeater down, and repeater's on the back of these blocks. So what's going to happen is there's going to be four pistons up top, and when they push the piston down there, you see that it powers it and activates it. Okay? And there's the repeater that I switched out. Okay, so we've got that much wired. Now we need to do the third row. And the third row is going to be two blocks higher than that one there. So we're just going to put some blocks to build off of for just a second. And it's kind of a little tricky, but you have to put them upside down. And we're going to put four of them there. And then we'll put a wall here, because uh, this will be all, you know, divider wall. And we'll put four more right here. Pointing down, and we'll put another wall on the side of this one to close it all up. And there you go. And we need to put stone. Let me go ahead and change the time here. Oh, fail. I forgot to put the spaces in it. <laughs> I love how the toggle down falls one word, but the time set day is spaced out. It just screws me up every single time. Alright, I'm going to put blocks on top of the uh, pistons up there because you can't put redstone on the actual piston, so uh, we're just going to step up from the original redstone down there all the way up to the third row here and make sure you allow yourself with a little bit of room there because none of these repeaters are on any kind of delay for the exception of this very next one that I'm getting ready to place right here. It's going to be on full delay. So, three more clicks. And all you got to do here is just lay redstone down all across the top of here. I mean, obviously, you do want to put a uh, 
repeater in the break right there but you just want to loop around some redstone which will power all those four blocks which will power the pistons to make them operate and that's it and we're done so just double check make sure everything works so those extend and pick that piston up and so what you do is you got the power powering the pistons up top which will push the middle one down and then once it gets in front of that other block it um, pushes it out and extends it and uh, closes everything up so once you do that you can go fill in everything make it look like one clean wall and just kind of doing this for temporary just to show you guys you know it's all one good clean wall and you flip a switch and there you go two spots for storage chests so uh, we'll go back in here and you can fill this in uh, the chest will sit on top of this row here and you do got you kind of got to be careful with where you stick the blocks because you don't want to put blocks where the pistons are moving so uh you just got to keep in mind about that because if the chest is in the way... Where is the chest? There it is. Um, the chest are, or the... If you put blocks in the way, the uh, pistons won't activate. So, there you go. All right. And I'll go ahead and show you another little trick. This little void right here, what I like to do is put a redstone torch right in the middle of that which will power that block and I get a redstone lamp and I put in there so that when the um, walls open up it's uh, it has a little bit of ambient light so um, I'm gonna put a light there but activating that redstone so it's a simple fix all you gotta do is just move the redstone back one but um, you know, it, it's that's it's merely cosmetic. That's not important. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, like I said, it was just something that I just added to mine in my LP world. And there you go. So you can go back and close all this up. You know, you want to close up as much stuff as you can without, you know, causing a block update or um, cutting off any redstone circuits. Um, and anything that isn't, uh, you know, if you, it, main thing is you just don't want mobs spawning back there. So, you know, try to keep it lit up, put torches everywhere that, you know, you have enough room for a spider or something to spawn back there and, uh, you should be good to go. So we'll just go ahead and kind of half-ass fill that in and that's it guys. I mean, Hopefully this will help you hide your chest on your server, or maybe you just like this design for your LP world, but that's it. It's a simple hidden storage chest room with a little ambient light in the background. And you can fill behind the chest there. You can put some blocks. There you go. You just can't put anything on that one above it because that's where the pistons come down to extend when it closes. So that's it, guys. If you guys like this, Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe if you'd like, like this video and I will see you guys later. Take care.